Below starts from the top of a frictionless hill and slides down into the valley. Suppose that h1 equals 4.5 meters and h2 is 5.5. What initial speed, vi, does the sledder need to just make it over the top of the next hill? So we have h1 here, h1 equals 4.5 meters and h2 is 5.5. So now we want to solve for the initial velocity, so let's write our equation out. So we know they're going to have to have some sort of kinetic energy, which is 1 half mv initial squared. And initially he does have some potential energy. He's at the top of h1, so we'll say mgy initial. We don't have any springs and we don't have to deal with friction. So that's equal to 1 half mv final squared, <laughs> final, one half mv final squared plus mgy final. So we want to know how fast he has to go to just barely make it over the top of the hill. So we'll say when he gets up here, his, we want to know just barely to do that. So he's essentially going to stop up here at the top of the hill. So for our intents and purposes, his final kinetic energy is zero. Now, we can plug everything in here and say we have our initial mgy of mass times gravity times 4.5 equals mgy of 5.5, but we can actually simplify it a little bit. Why don't we just say that, hey, we'll just say right here is actually y equals zero. y equals zero. So now what is that going to be? Well we started at 5, 4.5 and ended at 5.5 so now the difference right here is one meter. So now he's starting out at an mgy of zero and ending at an mgy of one. So now that leaves us with one half mv initial squared equals mgy final. His mass isn't changing and both terms have a mass so we can cancel out the m's and then let's isolate v initial so we'll times both sides of the equation by 2 or 2 over 1 so that goes away and we have v initial squared is equal to gravity 2 gravity times delta y final. We want to get rid of the squared, so if we square root both sides, square root both sides, and then now we can get rid of that. We have, actually I'm going to leave it just so we can see every step that we did. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite it over there, over there, so v initial is equal to 2g delta y final square root that puppy. Okay, so let's plug it in. Delta y is 1, so really we don't even have to write it if we don't want. So we have the v initial is equal to the square root of 2 times 9.8 9.8 times 1 meter. And that gives us a v initial of how fast he'll have to go to barely make it over the top of the hill of 4.427 meters per second or rounded for mastering physics 4.4 meters per second.